What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we have some Detroit Lions news to discuss. Today we are going to be talking about why Bob Quinn has decided to keep a 90-man roster instead of cutting down to 80 players and why he has not signed a free agent yet. Let's get it started. Welcome in everybody to another video. Glad you guys are here. And today we have some lines to discuss. I love when Bob Quinn does these types of videos when he tells us why he's doing what he's doing. It's great to react to it. It's great to really know because we make our assumptions on why he does what he does and what he doesn't do. But it's great when he gets to explain them because then we can react to it, understand his decision making. It's awesome. But before we get into the video, we have to check out the comment of the day. Let's go check it out. It says, please tell us you are doing a reaction to the NFL Top 100. Exercises his stupidity, no Stafford, no Kenny Galladay, but Slay, he said it a little bit differently, by the way, made it Big Dog Scanner. I think that's your name, Big Dog Scanner. Is that your name? Okay, pull it up, Big Dog. Yes, I am doing a video on that, and I've actually finished recording that video, but it is a very long video. It's going to take a little while to edit, so I'm still working on it behind the scenes, but I am done recording that, and yes, that video will be out soon. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm glad I'm letting you comments like this, because hey, man, it's perfect, perfect timing. So yes, there will be a video on that big dog. Shout out to big dog. He is the comment question of the day. If you guys want to be on the next one, make sure you stay active in the comment section, and that could possibly you be you in the next video. We put new ones up every single video. But now let's hop into this Lions news. Let's talk about Bob Quinn. So the first part I want to touch on is probably the biggest question that a lot of people have. Why haven't you signed a free agent yet? Everybody loves when you go out and sign somebody because it's exciting. It's someone new. It's something different. It's something to talk about. It's Lions news. And with not a lot going on, it is super exciting to bring in free agents. Now, there's been a couple of popular names for sure. Definitely, Everson Griffin has been one of the most popular names in free agency, especially recently as we've gotten reports that the Packers and the Vikings have interest in Everson Griffin. Now, a lot of Lions fans want Ever Everson Griffin. A couple of videos ago, why a lot of Lions fans want Everson Griffin. There's also Jadavia Clowney. There's Jabal Shear. There's a lot of guys that are available. Even if it's not a pass rusher, there's a lot of guys available for the Detroit Lions to possibly sign. Heck, Mike Daniels. But why has Bob Quinn not signed anybody? This is probably the biggest reason he haven't signed anybody. I think I'm talking about uh, this is probably the reason that Bob Quinn isn't going to go get anybody anytime soon. And uh, when he talked about it, that's exactly what he said. He said this, we can't bring in a player for a trial. He said they cannot bring, bring in a player for a trial. And obviously, if you don't have a trial with a player, you don't necessarily know what you're going to get. Sure, you can watch past games and things like that. We love to have a trial to see what kind of shape they're in, how they're performing right now. He also says the only thing that you can do basically right now is just have a physical off-site to make sure that they're healthy. But you cannot have a tryout with a single player. So he's not going to go sign a player that he can't have a tryout with. And I 100% respect that. Wanting to see the guy before you sign him, right? Like you're buying a car. You want to see the car before you buy the car. You're not going to just order because you could end up with a toy car. And you don't want that. You don't want a fake car. You want a real car. So I definitely understand uh, why he's not signing anybody for that reason. He also says this. There is a lot of information. They just haven't told us yet. They haven't discussed about us yet on what the process is like signing a player right now. Because there's tons of protocols and things that they have to go through so what do what, what really happens next once you sign a player he says there's a lot of confusion just still a lot of things that he doesn't necessarily know about yet because they haven't told us so he's kind of waiting to give more information and he's trying to see when they're going to allow them to maybe have trials with players things like that a little bit of a different protocol to go sign somebody than it was before when it was a few months ago but this segues perfectly into the next thing we want to talk about and that is why he has kept 90 players on his roster so we've done a few videos on this the first video was explaining what the two options were the Lions had the option to either cut down to 80 players by July 20th and if they did that, all of their players could be together for the entire training camp. Or the other option was to keep 90 players on the roster. They would ultimately have to cut down anyways. August 16th, is that what? August 16th, I think, was the day they would ultimately have to cut down anyways. But you could keep all 90 players on the roster. However, for that time period, when you had the 90 guys, they could not be all together. You would have to split up into two groups, do things like split squads. So because of that, some teams decided to cut down, some teams didn't. And one of the teams that did not, which we talked about yesterday, was the Detroit Lions. Now, why did the Lions not cut down? Well, Bob Quinn explained it to us. He envisioned a few months ago that this could be the situation where you have a weird offseason, a short offseason, because of everything that was starting to happen. And all of a sudden, you know, he's trying to make sure that he has guys on his team. We saw that this offseason with the Patriots, the guys that are scheme fits. Say, oh, everybody hates the Patriots. Oh, you're bringing too many Patriots you can't scout your own players no it's that these guys are familiar and they can step into the scheme day one they know what they have to do even in a short offseason and Bob Quinn even said that this offseason because they knew something like this could happen they decided to go out and sign more veteran free agents than usual so yes you can see they have a lot of veterans currently on their team and now what is the reason for not cutting down to 80 players 
he says that these players that are currently on the roster have something to give to this team. They have something to show us. All of these players should have an opportunity. I completely love that. I completely agree with that. That's a very good point, Bob Quinn. I love that. So yes, these players should deserve an opportunity. And even if that opportunity isn't very big because, you know, it's going to be virtual meetings, just little workouts and things like that, not necessarily practice because by the time they have to cut down to 80 players, you could be, you know, losing those 10 players. But if you cut them now, you're literally cutting 10 players that if you haven't seen before, you won't get to see on the field. So you literally are cutting 10 players that you have not seen yet if you just signed him. Now, if you've had them for years and you're like, okay, this guy, we don't really need to keep him, that's okay. But he says everybody has something to offer, so they want to see what they can see. Now, obviously, not like I said, they're not going to be going through full padded practice with all 90 just because of how the schedule works out. By the time they have to cut down, they won't be doing padded practice. They'll just be doing, you know, little workouts, conditioning, strength, stuff like that. Kind of back to why he hasn't signed a free agent. Since the whole thing's kind of weird on, I don't exactly know what it's like to sign a free agent. We can't have a trial adding players may not be the easiest thing to do so he doesn't necessarily want to cut down to not 80 players and then have to add more players and it'd be a crazy weird process because you know what's the point in that so we might as well just stand past stay with the 90 until they give him more information about how things are going to go and how it is to sign players have trials with players so that's basically the answer that bob quinn gave us on why he decided to keep his 90 man roster and why he has not signed a free agent yet and again i think it makes complete sense also we have a little while before the season starts so it's not like we need to sign a player right now now, if you're going to go sign a veteran anyways, it probably won't take too long for them to, you know, be ready to go. It'd take maybe a week or two for them to get ready for the scheme. I mean, sometimes you sign guys and they take the week and they just practice. They don't play that game. So, you know, free agency never ends. You can always go sign a free agent. So I think for the Detroit Lions, this makes a lot of sense not to go sign someone right now. You know, stay with what you have. I think personally, the Lions are okay with what they have, but I think it makes tons of sense they haven't signed anybody right now. And uh, I think that's a lot. Of, I think that's a big reason why we still see a lot of talented players still available so we'll have to wait and see what happens but that is bob quinn's answer how do you guys feel about it do you like that answer what free agent do you want the detroit lions to sign if any thank you proper watching and big dog that video will be out soon and i'm out